it's Sam. So I'm super excited because today I've come up with this very kind of dark gray, blue, smoky eye. This kind of reminds me of like a typical look that I would have worn back in the day when I used to go to like holiday parties out at night. I feel like there's just so many like different holiday events or holiday parties that go on kind of in the evening time around this time of year. And there's a lot of opportunities for you to get dolled up, get a sparkly little dress on and just kind of go really dark and smoky with your eyes. So I wanted to come up with kind of like a holiday party look for you guys but I wanted to keep it super simple and I also wanted to keep it affordable so you are on a budget but you still want to look super glam and super sexy for that holiday party or that holiday get-together or whatever you are going to this is for you my friends I also kept it really nice and cool I did partner up with coastal sense for this video so huge thanks to them for providing me with these items I've actually been using coastal sense for years I think it was probably one of the first palettes I ever bought because I watched a YouTube video with someone using it. So they've been around for pretty much as long as YouTube has been around. I feel like they were kind of like, right when YouTube was starting, everybody was using Coastal Scents. Most of you probably already have a palette from them or have at least heard about them, but I will leave everything linked down below that I used. Um, but it's just a really great way to, you know, get a quality makeup look without having to spend an absolute fortune on makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. If you guys like this, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you want more holiday looks, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below of what specifically you'd like to see. And I would be happy to do that for you guys. I'm starting to get like all my holiday videos together. So leave your requests down below. What type of holiday videos do you guys want to see? and what kind of looks, holiday looks would you like to see. But hopefully you guys like this party, my holiday party look. I am obsessed with it. I think it turned out beautifully. Let's get into the tutorial and enjoy. Mwah. Bye. So I've already done my base. I've done all my foundation, concealer, and powders, but now we're gonna go ahead and contour. So I have this brush set from Coastal Scents. This is the Pearl 16 piece brush set. This is really affordable. It comes in this little case, which is really nice for when you travel because it keeps your brushes safe from getting bent. And then also you have a little thing to store your brushes in when you're getting ready in the mornings in the hotel room, which is pretty convenient. The first thing I think I'm gonna do is take this brush right here. And this is just like a really nice kind of contour brush. And I do have a palette. They do have like these palettes where you can buy the individual pans and then make your own palette. So the first color that I'm gonna take is a contour shade and the color is called Golden Dream and it's just kind of this nice kind of golden contour shade. Oh, so this color is good. It's got like a nice kind of goldeny bronze color to it. It's not super dark, um, but it does put like a good amount of color down. And you guys know that I really like a kind of warmer, more kind of golden contour anyway. So this one is actually really good for me. It's just like when you have self tanner on, it is such a warm shade anyway, that if you use like a cooler contour, it just ends up making your face look super ashy compared to your body. This brush is actually really nice. It's really soft. It seems to be putting the product down really nicely. And I like the size of it. It's not too big but it's not too small. It's kind of just like that perfect kind of middle size, middle size, medium size, whatever you want to call it. So now for blush, I think I'm going to take this shade right here. This is called Romance and it's kind of like a nice peachy tone and I'm taking this brush right here. This is like a slightly smaller brush. It's like a nice little blush brush. And I'm just, oh, finally the sun. The sun was like blasting on me. So it was a little bright in here. So this is really nice. This is actually, it does have a bit of a sheen to it, but it's nothing major. It definitely looks more matte than glowy. Again, this brush is really nice and soft. It fits like right on your cheek perfectly. So I'd say this is like the perfect kind of cheek or blush brush. For highlight, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade and it's nice and golden. This is called Croissant. <laughs> croissant, 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 whatever you wanna call it. 
it's kind of like this really nice kind of golden champagne-y shade. I have this little kind of more contoured one and I think I'm just going to take the tip of that. Oh wow, this is really pretty. It's just like a really nice vanilla highlight. It's actually quite pigmented and it looks like you can build it up really well. It's giving me a really gorgeous glow and this actually, this brush is actually fitting in really nicely because you can kind of like turn it along the sides of your eyes, which is kind of nice. I'm just going to put a little bit above my brow just to kind of add a little bit of a glow. I'm going to take the more dense side for the upper lip and nose just to add a little bit more of a glow right there. And I'm also going to dip into that dense side as well and just go over that highlight again. Wow, that's really pretty. That glow is really beautiful. I actually need to do my brows real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera because it's always the same. I just use my um, Ardell and then I'll come back and we'll do eyes. Okay, so for the brow bone, I'm gonna go ahead and take that croissant color again and just out of this palette here, and I am going to pop that onto my brow bone, and I'm using kind of like a big, like, it's almost like a kind of flat but fluffy brush, but it's nice because it gets a lot of product on all at once. I'm a little inspired by this sweater. So I think I'm gonna take this color right up here and this is the shade Barista. So it's kind of like a nice like neutral brown and I'm gonna take this like longer fluffy brush and I'm, ooh that's silky soft. I'm just gonna pop that into my crease. And I think what I'm gonna do is kind of like a navy blue kind of like gray smokier eye uh, just because I'm super inspired by my blue velvet turtleneck today and I never ever do blue or gray on the eyes so I figured I would switch it up for you guys so I'm basically just going back and forth and blending everything out just to make sure that we have a nice base and this is a nice neutral brown it's not overly warm, so it's just going to kind of keep within that kind of cooler, kind of grayish theme. So next what I'm going to do is take this eyeliner from Coastal Sense. This is the Express Line in number three. I don't know if I have a black one. Oh, I'm sorry. I am going to take the black one. Just kidding. Okay, this is in the color 01, and this is just straight up black. And what I'm going to do is kind of build up the base for my kind of dark, smoky bottom. So... I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of work this all along my lash line because this is where I want the base to be the darkest. And I'm kind of almost like making a cat eye, but a very rough version of it. So what that is gonna do is make the base nice and dark but then it's also gonna make it so that the shadow that we're gonna put down is going to stick like really well and be nice and pigmented down there. Just kind of creating like a little bit of a messy kind of cat eye. So you want it to be thicker out at the, at the outside of the eye and then just gradually go in thinner. And then you're just basically just going to blend it out and it does not have to be perfect guys because we're putting shadow over this this is just our base. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this color right here and it's kind of like a dusty, almost like a gray blue shade. The color is called Berry Gray. So you can see how it kind of does have a bit of a bluish tone in there. And we are just gonna take a nice flat brush from that same little set. And we're gonna pop that all over the lid. And that is a really gorgeous like blue gray. And then over the top of that um, liner it kind of adds like a bit of a sheen to it it's really cool I'm just gonna go ahead I have some fallout please hold blush that right off so I noticed with this brush I'm getting a lot of fallout so I'm just gonna go ahead and try it with the other brush that I had for the crease I feel like the other one was making it collect like into balls and I don't want that on my face 
So now I'm gonna like wipe off my brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out that crease color. So we're gonna kind of marry those gray kind of blue shades into that brown that we initially put down just so that it's a nice seamless blend. So now from another palette from Coastal Scents, this is the Revealed Matte Palette from Coastal Scents. There's a slightly deeper color in here. I think I'm gonna go in with um, this dark gray right here and then mix it in with this black and just kind of go back and forth just a couple times just to kind of get a little bit of a deeper kind of grayish shade. And I'm gonna go over that base color that we had and then I'm gonna take it into just a little bit into the outer corner just to kind of like really build that up and make it really nice and dark in that outer corner. And these are all matte in here. It's actually really good shades. This one specifically. You, <laughs> the warmest color. You guys, I'm so bad. I just, I love warm colors so much. I just can't stop. So I'm basically just putting down the color and then I always go back in, brush off my brush, make sure it's clean and then blend everything out. Especially when you are working with like really dark kind of gray or black smoky eyes. You just wanna make sure that you're always wiping off. I always keep a towel on my lap and then I'm blending it all out when I'm done. So now there's this really fabulous color here on the top. I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a really kind of frosty, kind of shimmery gray blue. It is called, uh, what is it called? Eleven or Elven Midnight. And it's really kind of shimmery and just fabulous blue. So I'm gonna take that fluffy brush again and I'm gonna pop that right on top of my lid, just kind of like in the mainly in the inner corner, but kind of blending it out into the rest. This is a finger one for sure. And I'm just gonna kind of pop that on there just to add a little bit more blue and a little bit more kind of sheen. It's not overly shimmery or metallic, but it does have just a bit of a sheen to it, just to add something that kind of catches the eye when you close your lid. I absolutely love that. There we go, let me get back a little bit. That's so pretty. So I think now we're just gonna go ahead and get a tiny little brush. I'm gonna take this little one from that um, kit and we're just gonna go back in with all of the shades that we've already used. So starting with that brown and we're just gonna build up that lower lash line color by color just so that it all blends back in with the top. What color did I use next? The gray. I'm probably not gonna go in with the black because I don't want it to be quite as dark. I think this gray is doing the trick just fine, but I am gonna end off with that sparkly, or not sparkly, that shimmery blue, just to add a little bit of that Kind of blue sheen again. Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with that black liner, that O1, and I'm just gonna, I just stab myself in the eye and draw my thing all at the same time. I'm just gonna line my waterline with that. So then I'm gonna take Sand Dune from my little palette, and this is kind of like a really super duper light pale um, gray. I'm gonna take this little tiny baby brush, and I'm just gonna pop that right into the inner corner just to add a little bit of brightness. I'm also gonna take that highlight that we put in and just add that on top just so that it's nice and bright and has a nice little glow. I do have a new mascara that is drugstore so I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fiber Mascara from it's the Gigi Hadid and Maybelline collection. I wore this yesterday. The trick is to put mascara on first, then fiber, then mascara, and then you can build it up that way. Don't try and put the fibers on first, it won't stick. Okay, so yeah, first you take, it's dual sided. So first you take the mascara 
And this was actually really nice. It lasted really well throughout the day. Oh my god, this blue shimmery shade is kind of perfection. Like when you get up close, it is so beautiful. So I've got my first coat. Now you go in and you add the weird little feathery, feathery fibers on top of what you just did. If you have sensitive eyes, just be careful with these because they are like, you know, feathery little floaters. And then you go back and you do a second coat of mascara now that the fibers are on, but don't like wink your lashes a lot. Just be really careful because if the fibers get in your eye, it feels like you just put a bunch of cotton wool in your eyeballs and you can't get it out. But it does build up your lashes really well. I am gonna go back in with that highlight shade, that croissant right here. This was the brush, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add that because I've kind of wiped it away from brushing off all my fallout. I really love this highlight. This is absolutely gorgeous. But see, there's some really gorgeous shades in here. You know, like I said, you can choose, you can pick whichever colors you want. They have a bunch and then they're all magnetic. You can switch them out. They're really cool. Um, but I'm really actually very happy with these three right here of the cheek colors and the contour. That was really nice, the highlight. And then all of these shadows were really beautiful and especially that blue one. What was it called again? Wasn't it like Elven Midnight or something? Yeah, Elven Midnight is really beautiful. It's like um, just a really pretty kind of shimmery blue green or blue gray, sorry. So for the lips, I'm gonna take a very inexpensive lip liner. This is from Koki Cosmetics and this is 522 Dusty Rose. And I'm just gonna line my lips with this. First, I am gonna apply, apply a little bit of chapstick. This is just Pacifica because my lips are just a tad dry. And then this is from Coastal Scents. This is the Lip Tubes Lip Gloss in Burgundy. It's this really pretty kind of like, it's kind of like a reddish brown, but it has like little flecks of like gold sparkles in it. It's really beautiful. And I just thought it would be such a pretty color for the holidays. If you're not someone who likes a red lip, but you still want to look a little bit more kind of like festive, then this is a really great way to go because it has that kind of like almost like red lip vibe, but it's a lot kind of cooler and like deeper than just like a bright red lip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. And then you can see the little gold sparkles in there. It's really pretty. To finish it off, I'm gonna use another affordable setting spray. This is the ColourPop Amber Crystal Setting Spray. This smells really good too. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to set it smells like, what does it smell like? It's like oranges or something. I don't know, it smells really good. Mainly focusing it on the outside of my face to really pop that highlight. God, that smells delicious. Okay guys, and there is the finished look. So something very different from what I usually do because it's using pretty much all cool tones and you guys know that I'm always, <laughs> always using like warm kind of reds and oranges and coppers, those are just you know, specifically what I like the most, but I do love a good blue, gray, smoky eye as well. I love how this turned out. I think these colors are gorgeous. They turn out really beautifully. I actually really love this lip too, because it's dark enough to where I feel like I'm feeling festive, but it's not like a super bright red. It's a little bit more easy to wear these type of colors, but versus like a hot red. Um, if you aren't someone who wears a darker lip, if you still kind of like to stick with the nudes, this is just a nice way to kind of like darken up the nude without feeling like you're like way out of like your comfort zone. Plus it feels really good, it's not super sticky. The formula is really, really nice because it's opaque I mean, it covers really, really well. And then you can occasionally just see like a tiny little fleck of a sparkle, but it really is moisturizing. It feels good on the lips and I love, love, love the color. Oh, did I tell you what the color was? Oh yeah, it's just called burgundy. So I like that, that's actually really nice. I actually really like this look. I think it's really fun. It's very wintry and cool. And this highlight is beautiful. It's such a gorgeous kind of cool, like icy vanilla tone. It's really, really pretty. I'm really happy with this, the way this look turned out. The blush is gorgeous, the highlight is gorgeous, the contour is gorgeous. 
Um, really happy with the way the, the eyeshadows blended out and went on my lids. I think that if you are on a limited budget, this would be a great option for you guys because you know with this palette here you can buy the palette empty you can fill it with whatever colors you want so maybe if you just like cool tones or if you just like warm tones it's up to you i have a nice mixture of some kind of green tones here i have some kind of golden ones some warm ones over here and then i also have those kind of grayish tones as well so i kind of have a nice mixture and i'll kind of swatch a few of them for you so that you guys can see these green ones are actually really really beautiful i might actually do like a kind of more Christmassy look with that. I kind of just wanted to do a holiday inspired and this blue velvet was just speaking to me. But um, if you got, whoa, I almost fell off my chair. If you guys do want to see more of a kind of like green, kind of like typical Christmas colors, like maybe a green and red, then let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. And then this little palette right here, I mean, it's such a good little palette for the price. It's got some amazing different shades in there. This one specifically is gorgeous. I absolutely love that kind of warm, um, kind of brick orangey shade and then those two gray colors were great that I ordered the black and the gray But you can see there's some nice kind of softer like more neutral tones down here. There's some kind of nice mauves There's some nice neutral browns So this is another really great affordable matte palette if you are liking the matte shades But you can't afford a super a super expensive high-end palette this year. This would be great because um, You know you're still getting a lot of really nice matte uh, different kind of varieties you not only do you have warm but you have cool and neutral as well and it's much more affordable than having to spend you know 50 bucks on an eyeshadow palette this is also really great for gifts um, because I feel like everybody everybody can use a good matte palette this would also fit into a stocking very very nicely and then I was actually really impressed with these brushes as well I mean you guys know I really just always stick to the same brushes like over and over and over again and these I was actually really impressed with. Specifically, I really like that blush brush. I also really liked this one to highlight. I thought that was really good. This one was great to contour with. And then I really did enjoy that big fluffy one for the brow bone because it did it like the job quick. And this little fluffy, fluffy, fluffy brush did a really good job of blending out as well. So I'm actually really happy with this. I think it's really convenient. It's a nice little, I mean, even if you just wanted to keep this on your normal vanity, um, it just keeps all your brushes in place and then you put the lid on and you're good to go if you are traveling for the holidays. And this would also be really great for travel if you are going away to see family for the holidays. This would be amazing because you can create so many different looks. It's super sleek, it's super convenient to pack and it's not gonna take up a bunch of room. So that is a great option if you are gonna be traveling for the holidays. I will leave everything linked down below for you guys. So if you do wanna purchase any of these products, again, everything that I showed you here is very affordable. So if you are on a budget, then this is gonna be a great option for you guys if there is anything you see. It was all very inexpensive. I hope that you guys enjoy this look. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I will also link this sweater down below because I'm kind of obsessed. I'm hoping it's not sold out, but oh, this is the softest sweater of life. Literally, I'm like a velvet teddy bear. It's amazing. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you in my next video. And again, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy this dark kind of blue, sexy, smoky eye. Mwah. Bye.